Hi. So till now let us summarize what we have learned. We have learned what are trigonometric ratios. Then we studied what are the relationships between them. And at last we studied what are their values at some specific angles. Okay. So now we are equipped with all the weapons to attack this question. Okay. So I hope you have tried this. And if you got the answer, then nice. So let's just work it out together, shall we? Okay. So let me just read it out. So we have tan 1 into tan 2 degree into tan 3 degree into tan 4, tan 5, tan 6. So on till tan 89, 88 degree into tan 89 degree. Okay. So what can we do? Do we know the value of all these? No, right? We don't know the value of 1, 2 and 3 degree and so on. And even if we knew it would be you know, like very it would be a very tedious task to multiply all of them. So what can we do? Can we re rearrange them into some uh, meaningful order? Let's just see. So how I, I am arranging this is something like this. So tan 1 degree into tan 89 degree. Okay. And then we pair tan 2 degree with tan 88 degree. You're getting the pattern, right? Our pairing gives us, uh, if we sum the pairs, we are getting 90 degrees. Why? We'll just, just look at, okay, just wait. And so on till, so, tan 44 degree, tan 44 degree will pair with tan 46 degree, right? And then you are left with tan 45 degrees. Okay. Now, we know a relationship between tan and cot. By cot, we'll see that tan theta, tan theta is equal to the cot of 90 minus theta, right? We know this relationship. So, what if we put 89 degrees instead of theta? So, we get tan 89 degree equal to cot 1 degree, right? 90 minus 89 is 1. We can write as tan 1 degree into cot 1 degree. Okay. Similarly, we can write tan 2 degree into cot, right? 2 degree. So until tan 44 degree into cot 44 degree and tan 45 degree. Okay. This will remain as it is. Now, I hope you notice why are we doing this, right? Till now, you should have noticed it. See, this is because we know another relationship between tan and cot. Okay, which turns out to be very useful in this in such types of questions. See, we know that cot of theta is 1 upon tan theta, right? We know this relationship. And how can we use this in expansion of this term in you know in this expression see we can write tan 1 degree into cot 1 degree so if we write uh, 1 degree instead of theta we get cot 1 degree equal to tan 1 degree 1 upon tan 1 degree right so we can write this as into 1 upon tan 1 degree I hope you see where this is going so we can write tan 2 degree into 1 upon tan 2 degree so on till ta and tan 3 degree into 1 upon tan 3 degree and so on till tan 44 degree into 1 upon tan 44 degree and into tan 45 degrees right and then we notice that these things beautifully cancel out so we have we might have other terms like tan so 37 degree upon tan 37 degree they will cancel out so everything will cancel out and then we will left with tan 45 degrees. Now we know the value of tan 40, 45 degrees, right? Tan 45 degrees is nothing but, right, tan 41, right? So this entire long, complex looking expression will boil down to tan 45 degree and equal to 1. So this is our, our answer to this long looking question, right? So what I like about this question is it requires all our knowledge. What we have studied till now, we see what what 
what is that what is what this question asks the question asks for the relationship between tan and cot the cofunction relationship that we can express tan 89 degrees as one cot 1 degree and the reciprocal relationship between them right cot theta is 1 upon tan theta and using this everything cancels out and we are we are left with one so i hope you uh, like this video and next time we're going to see another different kind of example thanks for watching